Hey guys, Micah here with Tactic California. Thank you so much for tuning in. Today we're asking the question, why the AK? Why did I pick up an AK? There's two primary reasons I picked up an AK. The first one and the most important one is my enemies use the AK. Whether that's Islamic terrorists coming overseas or cells or, or what have you, terrorism is upon us. It is happening in our nation. It happened in San Bernardino. And yes, the, the San Bernardino shooting, I would have been lucky they were running AR-15s, but for the most part, our enemies, like I said, the, the, the Islamic terrorists are using uh, AK variant rifles. Who else? Well, we've got Mexican cartels. I live in Southern California, and we're not too far from the border. Mexican cartels, uh, every once in a while, it's, it's, it's very rare to be honest, but every once in a while have come up and stirred up a commotion, and they prefer the AK platform. So that alone, just... A couple of our um, enemies to the United States and who are close and possible to me. Again, San Bernardino was close. The border's close. The AK is my enemy's rifle. And I don't have an intimate relationship with this gun. I don't know how to reload it uh, as fast as I can. I don't know how to clear malfunctions. I could watch YouTube videos, but that really doesn't get you very far. You need experience with this gun to really, really know exactly what to do and when. Um, it's, it comes down to training. So because my enemies use it, I want to know how to use it. If, if by some miracle I'm in the right place at the right time and I have my CCW and I, I'm able to drop one terrorist, but maybe there's more or it's a, whoever, you know, a cartel member, I'm able to take one guy out and there's more people still causing trouble. I can pick up that AK that I just took off of that guy. I, I smoke checked and go to town, finish the job. Now it's a fair fight. So I wanted to be able to run it. So that's one of the primary reasons. The other reason's kind of secondary, but um, Obama um, has banned importation of, of Russian-made AKs to the United States, um, as well as uh, there was a successful ban on the import of 7N6, which is a 545 by 39 round, which is one of the AK rounds. Um, and I was thinking, you know what, this stuff's happening right under our, our, our noses and nobody's really up in arms about it. Are the people upset about it? Of course. But nothing's really happening to reverse those, those, um, those decisions. So because of that, the AKs, I, in my personal opinion, the AKs under attack in the United States. And it, it's, a very, um, it's a very smart political um, Attempt. They're going after the rifle that we don't hold dearest. We hold the AR-15 dearest. Um, so they're going after the one that they know we won't really cause that big of a commotion about if they decide to start banning certain things about it. Uh, they tried to ban, uh, ATF tried to ban green-tipped ammo for the AR-15 and that blew up in their faces. We called our senators. We called, you know, we, we, we wrote letters uh, um, to, to the ATF and, and to our, our local congressmen and all that kind of stuff. Because we, our AR-15 was under attack, so we didn't let it happen. The 7N6, we let it happen. The AK, you know, the, the executive order of, of AKs not being able to be imported overnight uh, from Russia, we let that happen. So, like I said, guys, the AK is kind of under attack right now in the United States, at least in my opinion. I'm not saying go out there and panic buy them. It was the secondary thing. I know that, there's, you know, this is a U.S.-made AK, so it's going to be harder to... to to ban uh, stuff about U.S. Uh, AKs, but still, um, you know, it, it was just, it was time to get an AK. So those are the primary reasons I got an AK. Thank you so much for watching, guys. If you liked the video, please click like down below and subscribe for more videos we got coming your way. I'm Michael with Tactics California. Thanks for watching.